Hey guys, welcome back to Hobby Table Collector's Home. Today, I'm just doing a quick little video on something I have came across. Now, it's a little outside of our normal stuff. Um, you know, a lot of times we just have more, uh, of course, uh, hobby going type stuff. But this one was something I got that I uh, thought would help out with some of the little aches and pains I have. from like Because um, I do a lot of painting, drawing, model building, so I'm hunched over doing a lot of work. And I get a little aches here and there, and I thought, hey, this would be cool. I saw an advertisement actually on Facebook. So I guess I could say this is kind of a Facebook ad check type thing, though. But it's from a company called Hitvana. And yes, it's that little TINS pain pen thing that's supposed to relieve muscles and everything, kind of like a TINS unit. Now, the reason I got it was, hey, great, I do have to... I do get the pains, aches, and everything, and this would be a lot better than having to use a TENS unit, which had the little pads, the wires, trying to get it set up right. I thought, hey, great, you can kind of put in there and uh, pinpoint the muscle and everything. But anyway, it's interesting, so that's why I'm doing this, to give a, sh get a show to, to this, if anyone's looking at it and is interested into it. So, this is what it's about. Now, it comes with three separate little heads. It comes with the two... Uh, it comes with a flat and a single. Runs off a single double um, A battery, so I was kind of thinking it's not going to be too too um, electrical type thing, but you know enough to give some minor relief and everything. At least that's what I was hoping. So that's what it is, right there, as you can see. And this one's got the double pin on her. Goes up to a setting between one and nine. Now this is what I thought was interesting. It is actually a <laughs> cutout warning that came afterwards, slipped into the book, about saying it's normal to feel a shock in your hand that's holding it. Yeah. So, like I said, zero. So, I mean, it, it does okay. So, five is what I have it on. Hopefully, you can see here. So, I'll do a quick little show onto this uh, muscle right here in the hand, since that's a soft, small muscle, you can actually see it work. So... There you can see it is working, your fingers are a little moving, and I am feeling in these two fingers here, <laughs> as you can see, so it does work. And yeah, not too bad, and the way I'm holding it now, I'm not feeling it too, too much, but if I move around, yeah, yeah I'm feeling it, it's, it's coming up to the fingers. So that is a, just number five. So I was thinking, okay, so what if you maybe put on a glove to help hold the shock levels down? So, give that a try. Now that's what's interesting. It's not working. It's not doing anything. Not feeling it anywhere. Nothing's happening. So obviously having something on the other hand that's not bare skin. I guess it's like a grounding type thing. I don't know. But yeah, it doesn't work. I, there it goes. You can see it there. And uh, I can feel it really in there, especially when I'm letting go and everything. So go to a larger muscle because it does state that it's good for uh, back, knee, shoulder, hip, neck, and more. So let's go to a deeper muscle, kind of I'm going to show with this muscle here. So I'm trying to find a good spot that might demonstrate it. Man, I'm feeling it almost into my hand here. Oh, there we go. We got a little twitch there. So that's not too bad. Again, if I let go of this, I, I feel it. So that's, that's not too bad if you hit it right. But man, <laughs> right there towards the top is bad. Alright, so that's only setting five. Now, let's say you're going into like a hip muscle or something like that. You're going to win a higher intensity setting. Now, I have not gone by five due to the shock hand value on this, but for this, and see what happens, I will take it to nine. And let me tell you, I'm, I'm having a little uh, undrawn, uncomfortable fear sensation that I haven't felt since I was a kid when I looked up at my best friend of the anger look she had on her face before she decked me. And like this, I know pain is going to follow on that one. So, we're going to nine, y'all. Number nine. Jeez, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a... Uh, okay. Not doing that again. Nine is just too much. It's just... But it's normal. Normal for a self-torturing device. I mean, 
there is more pain going into my hand that's holding it than it's putting relief into any of the muscles. So we're going to put this on our list of, um, that is a big no and do not waste your money. I'm going to go back to just to the old pad TENS unit. So, like I said, we just wanted to give a little show out to these. Ouch. And uh, the only thing it's really good for now, I guess, on to collect, on to hobby more going type stuff is, you know, maybe you can change it up a little bit and it can be a cosplay device for your Doctor Who. Sonic screwdriver. It does kind of look like it. Well, thanks a lot, guys. And um, if you do get this, <laughs> happy shocking. And uh, catch us in the next uh, video. We do have some openings coming up from for um, Perstein Auction, which we haven't had for a while. If you follow us, you know that one is one of our favorites because of their packing issues. Hit or miss, 50% of the time is damaged, depending on the size of the item. And 8x10 photos are horrible. And I also have another Galaxy Con item that just came back. So we'll have those coming up next. Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you on those ones. If you know of a business that you're curious about and would like us to check out, or if you have a business that you know of is really good and like to pass the word on, send it to us at info at thehobbytable.com. Again, that's info at thehobbytable.com.